My name is Richard, and I'm from ACBI. We focus on using technology to fight corruption, improve accountability, and increase citizen participation in governance. Transparency International, one of the most renowned organizations in the organization, anti-corruption organizations in the world, has indicated that one out of every four persons have to pay bribe to access basic public service, such as health, education, in the judiciary, and even acquiring permits and IDs. This is wrong. We present to you the Pay the Bribe platform. Now, this is a platform that gives us three, that provides three ways of solving this problem. First of, of the problem is collecting data from citizens. By collecting the data, we analyze the data and we implement necessary reforms in the state institutions. There is, however, a current hack. Ghana Integrity Initiative, the local chapter of Transparency International, is currently hosting an I Pay the Bribe platform, but there are some deficiencies to it. First of all, no one knows about the existence of the platform. The, the, the architecture of the platform is not, does not meet the standards of 2020. And last but not least, the platform does not validate inputs that citizens are making. It means that there are higher chances that people are reporting false information. And that leads us to our value proposition. Over the past few months, we have present, we've built a simple MVP that resolves most of the challenges that this platform is facing. And based on that, we are going to present this to GNI in a few days and hopefully secure a partnership and scale this solution. Our MVP also comes with a dashboard. What I'm, looking, what I'm demonstrating right now is a map of Ghana, and by selecting certain regions, you get to see the breakdown of cases we've received over the couple of years or days. We can, add, we can narrow our analysis from national to regional or to even district. So, what is our go-to market strategy? We don't intend to reinvent the wheel. And also, having two parallel websites that perform the same purpose is simply not smart. So, we want to go to GII, which is currently hosting this platform, and partner with them to revamp the existing platform and reach its full potential. We will be focusing on building a robust platform, and GII that has a voice in the market will be focusing on using the data we collect to seek for reforms in state institutions. The platform is only a tool, and just like every technological tool, it doesn't reach its full potential if no one is using it. So we are making use of online and offline models to generate a lot of data. While our online model is focusing on, on generating traffic, our offline models will help us our offline models will help us in managing the expectations of citizens as they use the platform. The platform is a cycle. It means that data is being collected every single day. We are analyzing this data and we are making the reforms. But corruption is a system problem as much as a human problem. So whilst you change the system, the humans are also evolving. So we constantly need to be looking at what we are receiving, the reports we're receiving, and changing strategies or implementing the right strategies to reduce this problem as much as possible. Our commitment to as an organization is to learning. Actually, we value that a lot. And that is why it's important that we incorporate that in this. And through that, we project these reports in the next couple of years. In the first five months after launching the platform, we estimate that we reached 10,000 reports. After a year, we estimate we reached 600,000 reports. And after two years, we estimate we will reach a million reports. Our revenue model as an organization are in three folds. There is donor or grants, there is partnership, and then there is contract. Now, it's impossible to task people to fight corruption. So for this project, we are focusing on donor or grant support. However, we have partnerships and contracts on the other hand to keep us, to keep us sustained as an organization in our operations. The team is led by myself, Solomon and David. I have a background in executive management, consulting, and system analysis. Solomon has a background in marketing and, uh, and entrepreneurship, and David is our CTO. He's a full-time data scientist, and he'll be building models that we, I demonstrated earlier. We are not just collecting reports. We are collecting voices. And in the span of two years, we hope to collect one million voices that says enough to petty corruption in Ghana. Thank you.